What up, what up, everybody, and welcome to yet another indie game along with Genghis Kron. We are still in our 13 days leading up to Halloween. We're actually almost there. We are just a couple days away, maybe even a day or two at this point. I think, what, two days probably? So we are jumping into a game called Horror Paintings Parodies. Uh, it's a goofy fucking game that I found on Game Jolt. It came out on... 2314 uh, of this year, so about I think six days ago or so. It is a flash game, but it looks kind of interesting. Um, he did a bunch of parodies of uh, full of horror, famous, scary paintings by all kinds of people. And you get to choose between three options, the right answers to test and learn with fun about famous. Scary paintings. That sounds like weird English. Um, let's see. And this was for the Spooktacular Jam. Oh, that's right. We're going to jump into the, uh, not the Spooktacular. We were going to jump into the Spooktacular Jam, but uh, I forget. Some kind of fucking science high mutation game, whatever. Uh, but I didn't realize that that's still in development because I forgot to check the page. So instead, we were playing the only game in that uh, spectacular jam that's actually already been made, which is that horror paintings parody. So I'm going to load this page, get this recording going, and then we are all good to go. All right. And boom. All right. So this is horrors or horror paintings parodies. <clears throat> Definitely feels like the dude uh, natively speaks Spanish, probably. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this parental advisory explicit learning horror paintings parodies. Oh, I get it. I didn't get it before, but I get it now. All right, so these are British or Spanish. Let's go British. Oh, right, because English or Spanish is in the language. Wow, that was not clear to me. Okay. Video, oh God. All right, by the way, if you click that video link, it goes round extra. Ooh, interesting. ABC test. All right, let's try this shit. I'm kind of excited. This is so funny. Learn and have fun with famous horror paintings. Don't forget to use the crystal ball to compare original with the parody. Find hidden stars to open the extra round. Round extra. That's that's a Spanish translation problem. Because they put words in the opposite. <laughs> you know if you know. Mythology, monsters and ghosts. I love paintings, but I would not hang some of them on any wall in my house. Anyway, they are amazing. Round one. Okay. This is, oh god. Saturn devouring his child, Saturn devouring his son, or Saturn devouring his son by Goya. I saw them mention Goya in somewhere before, earlier, so I'm gonna go with A. Did I get that right? I don't know if I even got it right. Was that right or wrong? <clears throat> oh. I'm gonna have to wait. Let's compare it with the original. Oh god, that's the original. Oh, so that dude's just eating his kid? That's creepy. Um, alright. Let's go with Goya again, because can't be wrong twice. Nope, I was wrong the second time, right the first time. Scream by David Arquette, The Scream, or The Yell. It's definitely The Scream. I knew that one. <clears throat> All right. Torture at Abu Ghraib. Uh, the Flaying of Marseille by, boy, I'm gonna mispronounce all of this. Or The Lightning Thief by Percy Jackson. As much as I want it to be the last one, I would assume it's The Flaying, right? Because it looks like he's getting flayed. Boom! Tic Tac Tow! What is that? Oh god, I have to censor that. <clears throat> 
Wow, I literally have to censor that. Cause that, I don't have to censor, I don't think. Do I? Do I have to censor that? I don't think I have to censor that, right? Um, oh, Saved by the Bell, Dusted Diamond. It's definitely that option. It's definitely not Roger Fring and, it's St. George and the Dragon, right? No, I'm gonna go with the, yeah. Release the cracker. Oh man, Francis Bacon, figure with meat. The Carcass of a Beef by Chom Soutin or Hollow Man by Kevin Bacon. Definitely gonna go with the second one. That's dope painting though. Holy shit. That's a dope painting. The Carcass of a Beef. Damn it. Now that I read that out loud. Hocus Pocus with Bat Midler. Always the answer. <laughs> Fuck you. That was totally Hocus Pocus. Spider by Louis Bourgeois. Looks super French. Hello, Lisa. Damn it. I'm doing terrible. Let's see. Orpheus, the ghost of a flea, or the Canterville ghost? Mm. Not the Canterville ghost by Oscar Wilde. <laughs> Definitely not that one. So, I'm gonna go with a ghost of a flea? Yeah! Freddy Mercury! Alright. Rocky Horror Picture Show, The Time Warp. <laughs> There's such a good answer for every one of these. There's like one awesome answer. Let's see what the original one looked like. Okay. So, shitty Lord of the Rings. Ooh, I like Untitled Painting, but I'm gonna go with The Water Ghost. Not Marilyn. Oh, I should definitely be drinking for the ones I get wrong, right? St. Wolfgang and the Devil, St. Michael's Vanquishing Satan. I think it's that one, right? Yep. Whoa, was it? Which of these parodies is not based on a painting? That is based on that one movie. Parodies based on The Shining. <laughs> exactly, by Stanley Kubrick. Sweet! Oh god, this is a cool game. Torture and severed heads. The artists have witnessed brutal, brutal acts. Their obsession to capture the macabre. It is in these paintings that have scared us for centuries. Round two. Fight! Fat Sue. Without hope or the hunger game. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna go with Fat Sue. It's gotta be without hope, right? Yeah. When I thought about it, I was like, really, Fat Sue? It sounds like a song from the 50s <laughs> that would play out of a jukebox. All right, the appearance of St. Peter to St. Peter Natasco. I think it's that one. Oh no, it's probably the Torment of St. Anthony, right? Cause Zerberon doesn't sound like a real name. Crossroads by Bone Thugs. Meet me at the crossroads. All right, uh, I'm so high. I, there used to be a video of some guy singing Bone Thugs into his computer, clearly super baked uh, at his house. I thought it was on waytoomany.com, but I, I don't think it's there anymore. But it's just like him singing into his laptop doing like little like uh, Angry Bird arms, essentially. Like, I'm so high. So dumb. <laughs> All right, anyway, way off track. Skeletons fighting over a dead man or Katrina's skull. I'm so bad at art. Guys, I don't know if you know this. I'm 100% guessing on these. I know it's not Night of the Living Dead. I think it's the bottom one. Damn it! Is that a potato beating up Woody from Toy Story while well, this chick's trying to bang Buzz and there's this sad kid on the side who is accompanied by this angry dragon holding a flag? Is that what this is, this is portraying? It's clearly Mr. Potato Head now that I see it. Um, Disasters of War, I would assume. Right? Because it's not Saw. I don't think. Damn it! I'm getting all of these wrong. 
All right, that is a sweet reference. I haven't seen any of the uh, secret. Oh, I haven't been looking on the sides though. Look at how the skeleton moves. Woo, it's tight. All right, I wish I was better at art. I would make this better. Brutal, that's a dope painting too. Holy shit. Some of these are really cool. Um, Judas Sling, it's gotta be one of those two. Cavagoro doesn't sound real. Fuck! Richard Strauss, Salome with the head of John the Baptist, or Salome. Um, I don't know. Richard Strauss? Damn it! Disco Inferno? Alright. Severed Token. Psycho Killer or Heads? I don't fucking know, man. Severed Heads? Fucking finally! Heads and Jars! Alright. Ooh, that's... I don't even have to look at it. It's clearly a dolly. Look at the colors and look at the, um... Yeah, that was clearly dolly. You could tell that dude's shoved from so far away. The face of Prozac. <laughs> Son of hell. Alright, so, um... Paranormal activity or the apparition. There's just so much cooler. Look at that. It's crazy. Who are you gonna call? The apparition. Carcass of an ox, carcass of beef, or heartwork. By carcass. I'm gonna go with carcass of an ox by Rembrandt. Because Rembrandt used to do like just portraits, right? It's not his thing. Okay. American Werewolf in London. If I was Joe Rogan, I would pick that option. It's not answering at Gables, is it? Because that's so creepy if it's true. If it's not the corn poppy, it's... Whoa! That's That was a one of Antoinette at Gables? Which of these is not based on a painting? That looks like a Medusa painting. What is this? Damn it. It would be cool if it told you which ones were and which ones weren't. Diabolical and infernal. The terror of punishment and the internal struggle between good and evil has always been present in the world of art. Round three. Fight! Oh shit. He borrowed the uh, composer from... Oh shit. He definitely borrowed the composer from... Um... Why can I not remember dude's name who made... Uh... You will return... Is that what that game is called? I think it is. So it's either the conversion of Paul the Apostle or Temptation of St. Anthony. I'm going to go with conversion. Fuck. Okay, well this is going to be easy. It's not my girl by the temptations. Okay, so does that look like it would have... I got to go with Grunewald just based on the colors. And I don't even know who Grunewald is. His name just sounds like he'd use those colors. I like that reasoning. Temptation of St. Anthony, definitely. And that looks like Michelangelo. I definitely know more about art. I did take an art history class. Um, but that was in high school. And I was probably pretty baked during that class. Doesn't really look like Dolly to me. Oh, it was. Crazy. Because I'm guessing it wasn't H.R. Geiger. It's not Incubus. Probably gonna go with Goya. Damn it. I don't know. Damn it. Devil went down to Georgia by the Charlie Daniels band. That sounds like it's definitely it. The Coven. <laughs> it's not Coven, goddammit. I think it's the Coven. Coven! <laughs> Some of these are hilarious. Oh, I know that painting. What's that from? Salton Sea? No. 
What was that from? Oh, duh, it's from the Red Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known. I was like, what movie is that from? I, like, I can't remember it, even though it's two of the options on the screen. Hans Memling's Hell. That sounds like a... Oh, I'm going to have to go with this one, though. Damn it! <clears throat> Alright. Dante's Peak, Dante and Virgil in Hell, or The Bark of Dante? I don't know what the bird. Damn it. I don't know why I didn't go with the one with two people in it. Christ in Limbo. These are starting to feel like Where's Waldo paintings a little bit. I still haven't seen any of those. Um... I wonder what Answers does. So I haven't seen any of those um, death things. Dead infinite. Guest zero. All right. Probably the triumph of death. All right, sweet. Speaking of where's Waldo's references? Wow, I literally feel like I made that happen. All right. Triumph of Death. That's definitely not it. Wow, that's a, it's not the Dark Crystal, though, as much as I would like it to be. The Garden of Earthly Delights. That's a weird fucking painting. That's probably really cool if you can see it up close. Early Waldo. Which of these is not based on a painting? That one feels like it is. This one. Oh, what? Nope, I found zero stars. Good, I'm an unruly art lover. That sounds about right. That's dope. How many of those play last episodes? Did we do all five? We only did three rounds, right? Whoa! Oh, I didn't realize there's a bunch of other ones of these. So these are all different famous painting parodies ones. Like one's a spelling test. Another one's a spelling test. Actually, I guess a lot of these are spelling tests. But, uh, dude, oh man, that's kind of cool. I kind of like how they did that. That is really interesting. Huh. Horror paintings parodies. I would check this out. It's kind of neat. And uh, I'm shitty at art history, but there's some dope paintings in there. So check that shit out. And uh, up next, I believe we're going to have One Night. I think that's what we have up next. Uh, one Night is, I don't know, it's like a weird game. I didn't even find it on Game Joel. I don't remember where I found it. Um, it reminds me, though, like if Stanley Parable and... Um, PT had a kid from the screenshots and video I've seen so we'll check that out and uh, I'm kind of excited for it we really wish I could find my lighter that would be cool right about now there it is so we are outro and uh, yeah until next time motherfuckers go do something spooky decadent <laughs> and uh, we'll be back with some more shit up next light Million fly women in my dungeon. Bitch, there's a million fly women in my dungeon.